Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Rando Geek. All right, so I have an article here from the T-Mobile Report. I will link it for you down below in the de description. You guys can check it out if you would like on your own. All right, so the topic here is the big three carriers, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, obviously not happy with the new FCC 60-day unlocking plan. Now, we're going to quickly talk about this, get it out in the open, and we're going to address why, as consumers, we think this is a great opportunity for us for once. All right, so the big carriers, obviously, they don't want this. I think we all know why. They don't want competition. They don't want consumers to be able to roam free to another carrier, whether it's another, uh, you know, one of the other big three. So leaving AT&T, say, for Verizon or T-Mobile or leaving one of them for a smaller company, an MBNO company. Now, ironically, not surprisingly, but ironically, the MVNOs are going to benefit greatly from this. And they're real excited about this. And I think we know why. It's because this is more of a open door business opportunity for them. The door is wide open for them that if you decide you're sick and tired and you want to cut the cord, you're overpaying for service with either one of the big three carriers, you can take your phone in 60 days, have it unlocked by the carrier for free and leave and go to the competition. Now, the problem here is, and many, you know, some, some of you may feel two ways about this. You may agree, disagree, maybe up in the air. Originally, MVNOs were a very good thing uh, for both the consumer and as well as the big carriers. And the reason it was good for the big carriers is if you didn't want to use one of their service, they were able to partner up with an MVNO, a smaller company. I don't know, say Simple Mobile, for example, if you guys remember them, they're still around, but they use T-Mobile's network. That was a great way for T-Mobile to still make money. They can rent out their towers, get paid from Simple Mobile. They can build up a clientele, offer watered down plans, watered down versions of getting on T-Mobile's network. Most consumers, unless you're like an enthusiast or someone that, you know, needs the most amount of perks or really just want that postpaid experience, Many people were happy to use a service like Simple Mobile or the competition, right? The problem here is, you know, that was good for a very long time. But too many people are choosing MVNOs now, much more than ever before. Cost cutting and cord cutting in general has just been growing rapidly. It, we're seeing it everywhere. It's with all technology. It's with everything that we do. People are looking for ways to save money more than ever. Things are obviously out of control with price-wise, whether it's buying a new car, buying a home, whatever it is. Everything price-wise is out of control. Incomes are not adding up to the amount of inflation, right? That's the economy that we're living in, and who knows how long it'll take before things get balanced out. So therefore, we have to look for ways to save money as consumers. And that can start with the things that we do, the things we're subscribed to, like phone plans, cable, music and streaming and all that stuff that we're finding that maybe we're just overpaying too much for and we don't really need to. That's where the MBNOs come in and they know this. So what's happening now is the big three are onto this and they're starting to buy out a lot of the MBNOs. Now, off the bat, this may not seem like a bad thing. It may seem like a good thing because if you're already on, say, a smaller company like Mint, right? Well, now you're going to get T-Mobile's network. You're going you're gonna to get all the benefits that T-Mobile's network offers. But with change, with that change in particular, it could have you know, both a positive effect but also a negative effect. Some of the negative effects are, will pricing stay the same in a year? We don't know, right? What if T-Mobile says, we want to raise the price now? We want to change things around a little bit, give you a little less for your money, right? Then there's also the fact that you may have wanted T-Mobile's network, but you didn't want to deal with T-Mobile in any way, shape, or form. 
you were happy not having to deal with them. Maybe you were a customer and that's why you left and you went to Mint because you like the service, you like the network, it's very good for you where you live and work and do your business, but you just couldn't get along with T-Mobile. You didn't see the value in in the company in itself. Maybe you're not a fan of all the data breaches, whatever the reason is, right? You left. But now you're going to be dealing with T-Mobile again. It's their company. So you will be paying T-Mobile directly. They won't be getting a small portion off of the rentals of the the uh, towers. They'll be getting all of it. It's their company. It's a subsidiary now, or will be once it's approved. So this is, this is the uh, issue with the big carriers buying out the MBNOs. So the FCC proposing the 60-day unlock plan is a big win for consumers because it gives us the opportunity, while it's still around, if they don't buy all the MBNOs, which uh, will take time, but it is heading in that direction, but I think there'll always be some more, so we might be okay, but I don't know. I'm I'm kind of seeing I'm kind of seeing that the carriers want to eliminate the you know the MBNOs. Some of you have said, well, that's not the case. They're they're partners. No, they they were partners. They are still to some extent because they have to be. But I definitely think the big three are trying to snuff out the competition. We've seen this with Total Wireless. We've seen this with Visible. We've we're just going to continue to see this. Because, and you can say, well, you know, Verizon been owned visible. Yeah, you know, they did. They did. It wasn't well advertised. They weren't really sticking their name all around it. But, you know, total, straight talk, you know, Verizon came in. They wanted it. Why? Because they saw an opportunity for them to to win those customers over and get rid of competition. And it, you know, it worked. There's only a handful. If you think about the amount of MVNOs we have today and what we had five years ago, how many different MVNOs did we have for Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T? We had many more. And there's a reason why we don't. Some of them failed. They weren't really up to par. They weren't worth keep sticking around. But also they're being bought out by the big three, right? So that leaves us with little to none competition. So the 60-day unlocking policy... You know, although down the line may not have much benefit, it does now. It still gives you a carrier, uh, a customer, the freedom to leave the carrier and go and, you know, use a service that may be more up to your needs, whether it's cost of more cost effective, maybe you see more value with the plans, maybe you don't want to deal with one of the, the big three carriers directly, you've had bad customer service experiences, maybe bad billing issues. Sometimes provisioning is terrible with these carriers. They just don't get it right. And you have to place multiple calls to technicians to try to get it sorted out. And it takes forever. And even then they don't always get it right. That can be frustrating. And if you're paying a lot of money for a postpaid or even a prepaid account from one of the big three, you may ask yourself, why am I doing that when I can just go to visible or I can just go to another carrier, you know, Mint at the time, Ultra, all these other, you know, MVNO competitors that would offer me a great reliable way to get onto one of the big three carrier networks without costing me so much money, right? That's the whole point of this. So why, as consumers, do we care that these carriers don't want us to to have that freedom and flexibility. I see why they don't want it. You know, they don't want you to sign up and uh, get a nice new phone discounted and then bounce. Even if you have to pay off the phone, they, you're still getting it discounted, one, okay? It's going to be a little bit cheaper than it would be, say, buying it outright from Amazon or somewhere else. And they don't want you to leave. That's part. That's why, if you ever notice, you buy a phone, it's free after 36 months of bill credits. They want to make sure that you stick around for three years, making payments every month 
on a plan that you probably are paying too much more, too much money for that you don't even really need. That's how they make their money, right? That's how they've been making their money. Now, MVNOs are coming in with another opportunity. If you go to Boost, you'll see that they have discounted phones. If you go to Total, you'll see that they have discounted phones. Again, you know, Verizon now owns Total, but the point that I'm making is MVNOs have been moving up the ladder. They've been offering competitive pricing. They've been offering competitive devices at great prices. And the big carriers don't want to see that. They don't want you to be able to unlock your phone and say, I'm done. I'm out. They want to pigeonhole you and lock you in. So I'm all for this. Um, I really think that this is a step up for the customer. I think finally uh, consumers are starting to get a little bit more power. I think the cord cutting trend has actually been very, a very powerful movement. I think that at this point in time, there's not just not much that companies can really do to consumers anymore. We have a lot more flexibility and freedom than we did five to 10 years ago with carriers. It was very, very difficult for you to leave if you wanted to. It was just very, very complicated. So I'm all for this. Uh, I think this is a great move. Be sure to uh, comment down below your thoughts on this if you want. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I always do my best to get back to you guys. Drop a like if you like the news on this channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.